after the third debate, they said, what do you think, Alex, Trump impersonation? And I said, and I knew they were going to spin it, I said, he's funny and he's talented and of course it's, it's funny. But what I said was that about the election and what they're saying on SNL and how they're treating it, and obviously they were leaning towards Hillary, um, I don't think it's funny. I just think there's too much at stake uh, in this election regarding all the other issues. I never said I didn't think Alex impersonation wasn't funny. Mm. Um, of course it's funny. Uh, and, and so that's the exclusive, which is, yes, Alec, you do a brilliant Trump, baby. And now you got a gig for the next eight years. Did I say four? Eight? Why is, why is uh, Donald Trump your guy? Everybody has this perspective of the guy, which, God bless him, he's a brilliant businessman and a marketer, and he's taken Trump as a brand global and ticket from one billion to whatever, and you gotta be pretty smart to do that. Um, so uh, he's my guy just because he's not a politician. I think he cares. Does he say things the wrong way? Of course. Has he? Yes. Will he? Probably. Um, he's just a man. That's what everybody's gotta figure out. But he's, he's won. And now, now I believe we, we ought to just do our best to come together and, and give him a chance. I just think that in, in a very short period of time, we're going to see an uptick on the economy, and that's going to bless a lot of people and take a lot of people out of the pressure and the trouble and the pain they're in, and then hopefully we can keep moving from there. So you're getting ready for inauguration? Getting ready for inauguration? Uh, I'm driving there tomorrow. You're driving tomorrow? Me and the wife. Right, so what, what are your plans? What, what, uh, inauguration week, what are you going to be doing? Well, I'm uh, an invited guest of the uh, New York delegation. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of rolling with those folks. If, if President-elect Trump or his cabinet called upon you to, to do something, would you heed the call? Probably not. Why? Because um, I'm busy, man. I, I started a, a new little indie Christian film company with, again, with my partners, this fellow Mike Lindell from My Pillow, And uh, we made our first movie, and it's called Youth Group, and it's coming out. So I'm focused on that. Now, when I worked for W. Bush... Mm -hmm. which was they had this thing called the President's Council on Civic Participation and Volunteerism, which was this kind of people of influence from different sectors of life, you know, came together. Gene Case was involved to, and uh, to get people to volunteer more of their time instead of paying taxpayer dollars. So we're talking uh, uh, to Mr. Trump's administration right now about maybe starting something like that mm -hmm. up again that I could do that would be part-time with a, a group of people, et cetera.